Oh. Hello friends, Sentinel H here and welcome back to Frostpunk. Uh, if you remember in uh, the last video of Frostpunk we started this lovely lovely uh, refugees campaign scenario whatever. Um, I don't know how it's going. It's, uh, you, it's always hard to tell how well anything is anything is going. We, our coal gain is pretty darn high compared to our consumption. Yet we are currently running low. Um, we haven't been able to really stockpile a lot. We have a sawmill over here that's inoperative because nobody's running it. But we do have some workers available. Really what we're running right now is a worker shortage. Um, there just aren't enough workers. We need to get rid of these uh, wood crates right here uh, so that we can build in this direction. We need to finish gathering all the stuff over here so hopefully that's almost done hopefully they'll grab these um, the steam cores soon uh, an issue that we were having is that it's it was very cold but we are I mean the temperature is rising we're back up to negative 22 overdrive was turned off and uh, yeah, I think we're good to go at the moment. Okay, bunkhouse has been researched. They should be building... Yeah, they're going to be building that now. Okay, so now that we have bunkhouses, we can start upgrading those. I do want more scouts, but we don't currently... Well, let's see. They're going to be here in one day, two hours. This will require... Eight hours. So we don't have to do that yet. How long will this take? Nine hours. So we don't need to do this yet because we can't afford it with the workers anyway. we got to get some more. Those people have to show up first. I think that I want to uh, I want to research the generator range. Then we'll, we'll go to the next one. Generator range will be a good upgrade. Let's start upgrading into bunkhouses. And we'll do that around the, the church. We should have two churches. Yeah, right there. So we'll start upgrading these. We'll start with the ones that are right on the interior. It's gonna... I always think that's funny. I mean, obviously it makes sense that people can't live in it while it's under construction. It's off, time. off time now. I'm not gonna pull any emergency shifts. One, it would give us too much discontent. And two, people would probably die. Drunken Outburst. Let him be. I can raise the hope, no problem. Our scouts have reached White Pass. They've found survivors. 38 workers. Excellent. Escort them. They were led by fools. Right now what we need is a way to reduce discontent. So we'll check the Book of Laws. See if there's anything under uh, purpose. Um, I don't have the rations to do anything with uh, field kitchens. There's obviously the temple. The ceremonial service um, will be very effective. I don't think I need the temple right now. Um, it does reduce discontent. However, I feel like the best way that we can reduce discontent right now is to go into adaptation and sign the public house. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. So I will build the public house. Unfortunately, these things are in the way. Otherwise, this would be a great spot to stick it. I need it to be in range of a heat zone. I don't want it to be this far out, though. Um, honestly, it'd be really nice. Once they get rid of these um, piles here, we'll go ahead and build it right there. I have three days to open the public house. All right, so we'll go into adaptation and see if there's anything that I want. I do actually want moonshine. Moonshine makes people... Um, soup causes less discontent. It's just awesome. Hear me, hear me. There's really no downside to it. Ooh. Negative 38. 40, I mean. So we are now cold at home. But, if I crank up the steam level... I believe we... Well, we don't have enough coal. Holy cow. If I crank the steam level up, we've only got that much. Wow, really? 
Two fully staffed coal mines. I guess we can't do it. These are too cold. This is fine because it's got a steam hub around it. This is too cold. Yeah, we need uh, to increase our coal balance. So the way to do that is... Honestly, we have no way to do it because I've only built coal mines. Um, we need to upgrade the coal mines or we need to research the thumpers or the charcoal kiln. But to do the charcoal kiln, I need more wood. Food quality. I'm not going to address the quality of the food. Dang, that produced a lot of discontent. I know the food's bad, but we don't have enough. You'll just have to live with it. For now. There's like no... I don't know what you want from me. Well, I know what you want from me, but I can't, I can't give it to you. It's not a thing that I can do. We do need the extra, the second steelworks. I, I see that we definitely are at the point where we need additional, uh, additional steel. So we'll go ahead and throw that down. It should be in range of the steam hub. Yes, it is. So that'll be great. And we'll start throwing down more bunk houses. Um, I want to keep building up my housing capacity. So. I can fit a house in here. I do want to keep building up my overall housing capacity, but at the same time, I do want to upgrade the tent. So what I want to do is fix this road, make it actually hug the buildings so that we can demolish this road and build more houses over there. The scouts have reached the hangman hill. We cut the frozen body down and gently lowered it to the ground as a tool chest at the base of the tree, steam cores. The Engineer's Curse. The chest we found contains an engineer's tools and a death note. You lured me here with promises, kept me in the dark, told my wife I'd died. You're beyond contempt. I hope you enjoyed my farewell gift. It seems that the people it was intended for never read the note, and we can only hope that we don't become recipients of whatever gift he left for them. So basically, we have to decide whether to take a steam core or leave it. So it sounds like... I mean, if we take the steam core, something is going to happen at some point. And that something is probably going to involve reducing our hope, I would say. So I really don't care because I have way... I, I have no problem with hope. Uh, actually, I have more problem with discontent. So we're going to take the steam core because it's a steam core. I'm not going to turn down a steam core. Next, we're going to go to this steam lorry. I never want to constantly be bringing my scouts back to the 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 city because we always want to be ga gaining gaining more stuff we need more food actually um, scouts reached the black spire they found survivors 38 workers nice we're exhausted travelers they got lost after an avalanche separated them for the others on their way here, they saw a large, peculiar structure buried in the snow. They have no idea what it is, other than that it was man-made. We're going to escort them, because we have to. Otherwise, they'll probably die. Um, then we're going to send them all the way out here to the landing site. So I imagine this is where our ships uh, that brought us here originally landed. You saved all of our people. Hope rises. Yep, we got everybody. Everyone's been saved. Scouts leech the steam lorry. Steam cores and steel, a huge machine used to haul tons of cargo. Generators were built thanks to steam lorries like these and their ability to haul cargo over the frozen landscape. It's a shame that it can't be repaired. The resources you've retrieved from it are priceless. Yeah, it is a shame it can't be repaired. That'd be awesome. Two more steam cores and 111 steel. I need to start using these steam cores. Having them having them does me no good. It's it's using them that benefits me. Um so I don't want to just sit on these. I want to actually use them. And so what we're going to do is actually build our wall drill. Now remember, I'm not going to be building any um, infirmaries in this game, in this playthrough, because I'm using the houses of healing. I went through uh, faith. I went. I specifically went the faith route. A young couple, we were separated on the trail, had to fight back to spare. Thanks for efforts have been reunited. Yay! They look identical, like those two people. 
Uh, our people are worn out. We have to keep regular shifts everywhere for three days. You know what? I can probably do that. So that is going to turn off all of the extended shifts. Um, our coal balance is slightly negative now, but that'll that'll fix itself. So I have to let them rest for two days. It's, you know, it's honestly not a bad thing when that happens. I usually do it when that comes up. All right, scouts arrive with more people. Coal. Ugh. That coal mine optimization didn't do nearly as much as I thought it was going to. We do need to get to the steam coal mine. Um, we could actually research mechanical calculators. We have enough resources, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that yet. Um, I, what I do want is lighter scout sheds, and I really want the factory. Before we get the factory, let's upgrade the generator efficiency. That will reduce our coal demand. Right there. Two more hunter's huts should do us a world of good for our food levels. I don't want our food levels to continue to be so low. Captain, look at the beacon and report a large group of strangers marching in our direction. We have to assume that the lords are coming. Our people are afraid that their worst fears are going to come true. We're going to die in this frozen hell if they force us to leave. Even if they let us stay, they'll turn us into our, their slaves. We must be ready to fight. The prospect of so many lords coming here has caused understandable tension. The conflict between people from different social classes could jeopardize the future of our city. In the next few days, the shape of our society may well be completely redefined. Yeah. So if you remember the... Um, my god, what if they're armed? The lords, if it, it's the lords, were doomed. Yeah, so if you remember, the storyline of this mission is that this city was meant for only the rich. But these people, are people, the ones that built the thing, well, not, the, not the generator, but the ones that were building this, the way for them to get there, they stole it. They, they built the ships, and then they commandeered the ships. So the lords couldn't have them. Um, we need food. Holy cow, that's a lot of people. It's a hundred peeps. A hundred people to, to feed uh, and house. I need ten more homes in the next day. I can't use extended shifts, unfortunately, so I can't pump the uh, the wood production. I do actually have enough. Uh, let's see here. Well, no, I don't have. I have enough wood to build ten tents, but I'm trying to upgrade the bunk houses, so I don't want to do that. How are we on coal? We're still in the negative, unfortunately. Now that the generator... Let me check this. Just, I want to check this. Now that the generator is more efficient, we have a, a decent coal surplus. It'll be enough probably to pay for this steam hub. I do want to get the range increase. That Then I'll have to reshuffle the location of my steam hubs because they'll, they're completely inefficient right now where they're, where they're placed. I want lighter scout. I want everything. But I can't have everything. <sighs> we don't have enough steel for what we need to do, so we definitely need a steam steel work. So we don't have enough coal for what we need to do, so we need we would need to get mechanical calculators and get the steam coal mine. You see my my coinky dink. Conversely, we build the charcoal kiln. The problem with the charcoal kiln on this map is that there's only one wall drill. Now we can obviously burn these trees. But I don't feel like I want to. I want to dedicate the hours it'll take to research all these upgrades just for a little bit of a boost. I just, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not about that life. I want things to be efficient. I only want to have to research one thing. Although I feel like I'm going to have to research these coal thumpers. I don't think there's a way I can make the coal mine. Well, until I get to the advanced coal mine, produce enough. I need to start getting automatons. Let's research the factory. I know I said there's enough. I haven't. There, see, it's not even a matter of the workforce at this point. When it comes to coal, especially coal mines, it's something that you need all the time. You can't afford. I can't afford to have people not gathering coal for long periods of time. The lords are on their way in one day. We need to prepare. Ideally, I would have enough houses for them all already. Which I could do if I just built tents. I don't like tents, though. I want bunk houses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Oh, that's an invalid location. Dang it. Eight. Nine. I still need more. But... That's nine houses. That's enough for most of the people that are coming. I have some more steam cores on the way. My automatons will also require steam cores. It really is a bit of a question right now as to whether I honestly need automatons. Like I said, I feel like I want automatons for these coal mines if for nothing else so that they produce constantly. Remember that even though automatons start at 60% efficiency, because they work all day, they are still an upgrade to normal people. Captain, the approaching strangers are carrying no weapons. Whatever their intentions, they have no means of attacking us, but people are wary. It's a trick to catch us off guard. The lords are cunning. Those leeches would do anything to get back at us. Mark my words. Yes, they don't like the lords. Class warfare at its finest. It's always been a thing. All right, so our overdrive is about halfway uh, to needing to be turned off. We only have to have it on for 13 more hours. I think that's going to be fine. I think that well, that will last for 13 hours. If it doesn't, I can turn the heat level up, then turn off the overdrive, leave the heat level up just long enough to finish it out. Although when I turn the heat level up, it's gonna it's gonna put stress in the generator. Resolves in 12 hours. Let's crank up the heat level. Now that it's on, we can turn off the overdrive. And what it's going to do is it's going to start draining our coal. But we only have to leave it on for another nine hours. Okay. I fulfilled my promise. Now it's time to crank down the generator. Oh. That's a problem. Cookhouse is too cold. Let's turn down the range. Oh, see, this isn't in the steam, uh, the steam zone. And this child shelter is just out of range of that. What I was hoping was that I could turn the range down and then crank the the, the level up. That's not going to happen. I just need more coal production. So over here in purpose, we're not going to get anything else. I'm not going to get field kitchens yet because people are going to want me to build them. And I don't have the, 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 you know. We'll get ceremony of funerals because why not? Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Coal thumper has been researched. All right. So now, we need to build a coal thumper, <sighs> but it's going to be too cold, so we're going to have to build another steam hub just to provide enough, um, enough warmth for it so that it'll actually run. Ugh, the trials of municipal design. I don't like coal thumpers on this map just because of how big the, th the dang things are. But, we can put our coal thumper back here behind the coal mine. Coal thumper goes here. And then we'll be able to place two more gathering posts when we eventually upgrade this into a steam thumper. Excellent. So we'll do that. The steam hub needs to go here if we want it to warm the um, the coal mine. Wait, what? Why can't it go here? There's a street there. 
I don't get it. Well, I can't put it over there. It's too wasteful. I gotta put it there. So this coal mine is not gonna be warmed at all. It's fine. I'm gonna automate it with a automaton. Industry. All right. Let's keep going. And hopefully we won't die horribly from a whole host of terrible things. Steam Steelworks. Max out the workers on the coal thumper. Heat it so that they don't die. Max out the workers on the gathering posts. I need to research gathering post insulation as well. Coal thumper will. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! We just got it. We just turned it on. We just got it built, and they already. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You jerks! We just engaged that. I'm gonna send these guys. Dang it! There's not even time for them to run it at all. I hate you guys. All right, but we have a lot of wood and coal, uh, of wood and steel now. So. We will max this out and order ourselves our first automaton. They're not going to start it yet, but we'll order it. Even the factory is cold? I mean, it's true. The factory's not even in a heat zone, so... I know the homes are cold. I'm not... I don't care. I mean, I do care, but I don't at the same time. The slight amount of discontent is worth it. Okay, the lords are here. What do they want? To not die? Yeah, there's a lot of people. It's a hundred people. Lords in rags. The lords have arrived. They're starving. There's at least a hundred of them. A hundred and more are coming. They beg us to let them in, but that would mean sharing our food supplies and finding them shelter. Let them in. I'll see to everyone's needs. You will have two days to provide shelter for people and feed them. Hope will fall. Let them in. I'll improve the food infrastructure. You'll have two days to provide shelter for people and build industrial hothouses or hunter's hangers. Three of them. Now, the reason this raises discontent is because the people in your city see you as catering to the lords if you choose this. So, in order to not have to choose this, you basically need to be able to feed the people. You gotta choose this one. They, you can send them away, but it's not a good idea. So we're gonna let them in. I will see to everyone's needs. I have to find them all homes. Guess what? I only need one more house in order to do it. Um, but it's not gonna be in range of a heat zone, which is a problem, because nobody's gonna move in. Actually, I've already provided shelter for everybody. I have to feed the hungry people. So there's 101 starving hungry people. We have 200 and something food rations. So we did it. We did it. So that'll be fine. We're going to staff this with our NGs. This is fully staffed. So that's going to be fine. We need to turn this down to a 10 hour work day because there's no housing over here. It doesn't need to be on all the time. Scouts have reached the lone boulder. Okay, so we have the aircraft wreck, the reaches up on the land side. We're gonna make our way to all of these. We're gonna go to the aircraft wreck first. Our three steam cores are gonna be very, very useful here. It's very soon. The starving lords have entered the city. Our people are not happy with their arrival. The lords, on the other hand, are rejoicing. Thank you, kind people. We'd have been doomed if you had let us in. Hadn't let us in. We should put our people first. See? Now these people are starting to think about the lords. They say that if it was the other way around, the lords would not have let them in. Honestly, they're probably right about that. The lords probably would not have let them in. This is a clear-cut case of these people were put down upon by the lords. Now that the shoe's on the other foot, they are inclined to treat them poorly. 
even though that's not something that they, you know, that they would have wanted the lords to do for them. The risk here is that they end up becoming just as bad as the lords were to them. One of the lords is starving and is begging you for additional food rations for himself and his companions. Nobody gets additional rations. Nobody. Ooh. The wreck must have been a winged flying machine. A novel design we've only heard vague rumors of. We had no idea that it had actually been made. Coal seal and steam cores. A huge aircraft. This machine had four wings arranged in two levels and was powered by engines similar to those used in motor sleds, but more powerful and compact. It seems it was used to carry important loads or passengers, but we only found two bodies on board slumped over the controls in a forward cabin. It's not a very good place to drive to fly into. Let's be honest. The Frostlands. Brace yourselves. Ah. Houses are freezing. And we have 41 sick. Well, the question of how you can survive in a cold like this is actually a good one. I'm actually not sure. Everything is too cold. I need this automaton to come out. We've got all these sick people. The only option we have is to crank up the steam level. No. We can put the generator into overdrive to get the same effect. I need this additional coal production to actually kick in. A food thief. The lord who begged you for extra rations has been caught stealing meals from the cookhouse. Our people want to lynch him. What? His hands will be cut off. Oh, I can't stop him because I don't have the faith keepers. Okay, this is bad. I can't, I can't stop them. I don't want to let them proceed. Yes, our first automaton. Okay, so this coal mine will now be run by an automaton. It's good because there's a, there's a steam hub right here that you can recharge at. We're going, uh, we need another sawmill because we're going to, um, this sawmill is going to run out of, of wood. So we will build it, place it right there. My people cut off that dude's hand. It's freaking crazy. I had no idea that they would do that. I didn't know that that was a thing. I chose the option to get, the last time I played this, I chose the option to give that guy some food. Um, and they ended up coming back to me and being like, hey, you gave this guy food? We want we want ten times what you gave him. And obviously, I didn't have ten times what I gave him. Which was like a thousand. So, I couldn't do it. And they got really mad. We are gaining food balance. We have untreated citizens. So we don't have enough... Okay. Ugh. Heating is a thing that we drastically need to improve on right now. At the same time, we don't really have the coal to do it. Well, actually, we now that we have the thumper running, it's actually providing a substantial amount of coal. And the, uh, the coal mine here is producing 15 per hour from the, the automaton. This one produces 31 per hour, but remember that it it doesn't run 24-7. It only runs uh, 10 hours. So this produces 31. This produces 15. But it runs for 24. So it's actually better. Yeah, it's way better. So I, if I get another automaton out. And we can automate this coal mine. It's going to solve all of our coal problems. That's why I love automatons so much. They are so good. All right, we're going to have to call this to a close. Um, but we have to research something. So I could research streamlined, but I don't really think I'm going to produce that many. What I want to do is improve automaton integration. But the first things first, we need Steam Hub range upgrade. So that we can rejigger our Steam Hubs and things will be better. Thank you guys so much for watching. We made a lot of progress this episode. 
I mean, this might be two episodes. I don't know. I'm going to cut it down substantially because there was a lot of da dull time. But, uh, yeah. Why hasn't this road been built? But there we go. So the first batch of lords showed up. We had just enough houses for them. And we are able to feed them. Our food supply is pretty decent, actually. Uh, I still need to build the temple, but we can do that. But right now, our major problem is just not having enough heat zones. Wait, is there a coal pile sitting around? Oh, yeah, it's the one outside the thumper. So, yeah, that's where we're at. There is another group of lords on the way. We have our scouts out, scouting places. Things are... I, I wouldn't say things are going well. They could certainly be better. But they're not bad. They're not terrible. Uh, the city's a little bit cold, which is the biggest issue. But now, we don't actually have... Wow, even with the automaton, we don't have the coal supply to do that. Oh, that's uh, sad. All right. Thank you, guys. Like and comment the video if you did enjoy it. I love playing Frostpunk. I love the game. Um, you know, so if you guys like it, do like it because it gets a lot less views than other videos. So uh, make sure you leave a like on it. Um, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.